Hey guys, uh, welcome to yet another episode uh, on the Raw Fit Sun Gazer YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about an important topic. It's about addiction to food. You know, whenever we are addicted to anything, we are allowing ourselves to being subjected to control and manipulation. If you are addicted to any particular drug, and I am the drug dealer, then I can name any price for my drug because without that drug you're going to feel miserable. Similarly, when you are addicted to food, different corporations can take advantage of this addiction because they can manipulate us into buying different stuff in order to satisfy this addiction. There was a recent New York Times article uh, which uh, brought out the study exposing all these food chains. They have gotten this to this art to perfection of making people addicted to their brand of food. With the right combination of salt, sugar and fat, they have figured out how to make people addicted to their brand of food right combination of salt, sugar, and fat. And these are the three things that uh, satisfy, you know, the, the, the taste buds and make people addicted to food in the first place. So, there have been various masters in the recent times, and I've, I've been, today, I spent a lot, a lot of time watching a lot of these YouTube videos of these uh, various, uh, you know, people who have mastered the art of uh, de-addiction from food, becoming free from the need for food. And some of these, you know, one, you can look this up on YouTube. I'll put some links below. One is the Buddha boy. He's been living without food for several years. He was meditating under a tree for six years with no food or water. And the BBC crew and men then videotaped him for several days. And he didn't even, uh, you know, move from under the tree. He just, you know, moved a little bit. But he was without food for several years. And then there's Prahalad Jani, uh, who's supposedly been without food for more than 70 years. There's um, uh, Jericho Sunfire, who now goes by the name of uh, Genesis Sunfire. And he evolved to the point from uh, fruitinarian to um, liquidarian to brethrenarian lifestyle. And there's Hero Ratan Manek, who's been uh, spreading the science of sun gazing to the world. He does eat a little bit. He eats uh, subsists on milk and yogurt. But he has gone on a long, lengthy fast, which have been documented. And there's also, you know, um, some people might say that once he was caught eating at an Indian restaurant, he has admitted to having certain lapses. We all do, you know, it's happened to me where for a long period of time I would be on raw foods but suddenly I will have all these cravings and I will eat all kinds of junk. So it's a growing process, you know, none of us are perfect. But there's growing evidence that you really don't need food for survival. That's a attachment to a belief system which we clearly see has led to slavery. Uh, you can look at what addiction to food has done to humanity. See, one third of our life is spent in sleep. We spend eight hours a day sleeping. And there are yogis who don't sleep. You know, they're free from the need for sleep. That's a different video. And that's a completely separate topic. Not talking about that now, but one third of our life is spent in sleep. And one third is spent in search of food because 
we spend eight hours a day most of the most of us have to work because we are not like born wealthy um so we have to work to support and feed the stomach and it, that's eight hours a day one third of our life and um if imagine if you did not have to eat if you were not addicted to food you would have so much time to do stuff that you really enjoy doing not everybody has the opportunity to work in a field that is in tune with their passion or in tune with their heart a lot of times people have to make compromises and work in fields which they don't enjoy 100% uh just to support their body and if you have a wife if you throw in a spouse and kids uh that's it man to support them you have to work even harder and you're kind of enslaved into a system even if you enjoy don't enjoy the job that you're doing you're kind of uh you don't have a choice to quit because just to support your stomach and support the uh spouse and kids you will be tied down to this work that you don't enjoy doing you will be tied down to a lifestyle that you don't enjoy it's a slavery and the way out of the slavery the key to way out of the slavery is freedom from food and freedom from food you know food Uh, that we eat from all these various sources uh not only do we get addicted to the food itself but the food once it enters the body it creates all kinds of desires and it makes us uh, restless discontent so we feel like we need more and we need to buy this and buy that it increases all these desires and we are subject to more slavery and manipulation all these corporations take advantage of the discontented mind of the people as which results from the slavery to food and they try to sell all these things and you you know you continue to become uh, bigger slaves of the system so the way out of this is the addiction from food and how do we do that how do we go from being addicted to food to fratinarianism or inhibition 